Hi, my name is Manjula. I am a registered nurse. I've been in nursing for the past 30 years. Hi, my name is Shlina. I work for Yamaha Motor Finance. My role at Yamaha is a major sales consultant. Coronavirus has, um, has had a large impact on my nursing career. Um, I have seen people coming in and out of hospital and telling me their experiences as well and it's quite um, devastating psychologically and physically. Nursing has changed from the time when I first started. We have to take extra caution um, to make sure the spread of COVID-19 um, is not spread. So therefore, when we come, in, come into work, we have to take our temperature, we have to sterilize our hands, wear masks and gowns and gloves to attend to our patients. Coronavirus has affected my work in many ways. We've had to resort working from home uh, for the last two and a half months, juggling working from home and also my, home, my kids being at um, home being homeschooled. Um, also with the effect of coronavirus too, um, sales targets have gone down. Working for a, um, a bike and a jet ski company um, with all the restrictions going on, we've had to, um, our sales targets have gone down. Because of the coronavirus, we've had to do uh, complete health checks every day but before we start work. We've had to hand sanitize our hands before we start our role. Um, which has been provided by our company as well. Um, also in a result of working in a finance company, um, there's so many clients that we do deal with, whether it's over the phone or face to face, we do have to ask our clients um, if they are affected by the coronavirus. This could be either if they're currently, you know, have the coronavirus itself or going through financial hardship. So what that means is if they've either lost a job or they're shopping with payments. Um, so all these questions do have to be asked for of as well their safety and their well-being. Because you're so exposed to this disease uh, and not knowing what you're walking into each day. So it has affected me, you know, uh, extremely hard because having being in a frontline worker, you just don't know what you're exposed to. So taking all that precautions and putting things in, you know, measures in place gives me a sense of insecurity, I guess, because you don't know what you're bringing back home. So again, you're constantly, constantly washing your hands and taking precautions so you don't bring up any of the disease at home. So you also have to think about protecting your family as well. It has been very busy um, working from home full time and also balancing out my children's um, work, school work at the same time and juggling the two together. It has been very hard. I mean, having three young children under the age of 16 and working full time and managing uh, work has been extremely hard. COVID-19 has affected me personally, um, well, mentally stressed and more irritable, uh, lose patience more uh, quicker. Uh, physical distancing has affected both physical and mental health. Um, so yes, not be able to communicate with your families uh, and friends um, has, has a large impact. It's not the same as going online and talking to them. So yes, it has affected me in many ways. It has been very hard being a social worker, having to resort to working from home um, and not driving to work and seeing your friends at work as well and having that relationship. Um, but at the same time, I am quite uh, privileged to be safe in my own home as well as still working and having a job end of the day. Being a essential worker, in a nursing environment or medical environment is very stress stressful. Patients rely on you. P uh, patients who come in with um, COVID-19, um, they're also infected and the impact on them and their families is very, very high. So therefore, as a frontline worker, we have to ensure that they get the best of care as possible. 
well, there isn't much to do with the coronavirus. We are quite um, restricted on what we can do. Uh, so when I'm at home, if I'm not working, I'm, I'm with my children at home and doing activities with them. You just kind of lose your freedom. Um, you know, you're so restricted in many ways. I mean, before the COVID-19, you used to just do things without thinking, but now you have to plan your days every day to ensure the safety of your health, uh, your family's health, and of course, to protect the community.